Whether Facebook users admit to it or not, Facebook creeping is standard behavior for this popular networking site. I'm here at Seattle University to find out what Facebook creeping is, who does it, and to uncover the creeper. Facebook has opened a world of possibilities for gaining insight into the lives of both friends and strangers alike. This insight is commonly referred to as creeping. I've been caught many times creeping on Facebook. Facebook makes it really easy to creep on people. <laughs> Facebook creeping can materialize in a variety of ways, but the creeping itself seems to come naturally for these Facebook users. Facebook creeping means that you creep on people on Facebook, that you go to their profiles, and that you look at things that you aren't supposed to or that they don't know that you are looking at. Um, looking up their information and just reading their wall posts and probably not telling them about it and then maybe you even like comment on it and then it, you can get caught being creeping if you do that, so it's creeping. To me, Facebook creeping means just going onto other people's pages and seeing their conversations with each other that don't involve you. Providing a multitude of personal information, Facebook fosters an ideal environment for all of this creeping. I'm a borderline creeper. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I'm kind of a creeper. Um, my friend and I added all of our friends from elementary school like the first month of school, so it was kind of creepy, but I don't know. I would say that Facebook creeping isn't acceptable, but 99.9% .9 of people do it anyway, because it's sort of an invasion of privacy when you think about it, but at the same time you're putting that information out onto the web. So if it's available, then people can obviously access it and see it. So it's not like you're supposed to be regulating it to only certain people. I think it has a lot of the same creepy standards. I mean, like you can do it in a, in a way that is like really demeaning towards a person if you're really invading their privacy. But if you just happen to look on one of their conversations, it's not really the same as creeping in, the, in real life. Even if some don't admit to it, Facebook creepers are everywhere among us. Creeping can be considered the online equivalent of people watching. I'm sure people creep on me because, well, whatever you post on Facebook, anyone is able to see, so there's always a possibility of creeping. So. I think everyone creeps on people they don't know. That's why it's called people watching. They just name it a different thing. I use Facebook creeping to benefit me if I need to know something that I should know. With the prevalence of Facebook in a college student's life, the question is, are you a creeper? Everyone should creep. <laughs> there you have it. Whether creeping is innocent or guilty is up to you to decide. This has been Jamie Richardson reporting at Seattle University.